Yeah, let's rock it, baby. All right, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me on the line, he is from Swamp People. He's going to be in town this weekend at the Iowa Event Center for the Iowa Deer Classic. Friends, joining me, it is Ronnie Adams. Hello, my friend. What's going on? Hey, my baby. Glad to meet you. Glad to be coming to Iowa. Everything's great. We so excited. We pumped, baby. We pumped to be coming to Iowa. All right, I have many questions for you today. <laughs> okay. All right, first off, let's talk Swamp People. Is it, com- is it coming back? Oh, absolutely. It's uh, well, the, the new season's airing right now. Okay. And uh, we'll know for sure the second week in March when the producers call us all. But I would think as long as History Channel is alive, the Swamp People will be coming back. Because it's been on for about 14 seasons, yeah? No, fi- this is the 15th. Oh, right okay, now this is 15. On. Okay. Wow, that's yep. crazy. And you came in. So this is that kind of leads me into the next question with this. You came in about season nine, if I recall, right? Yes, sir. How, this is my sixth season. How do you, like, you obviously probably knew about Swamp People going into this. How did you land inside of Swamp People? Well, I can make a quick, long story short. Okay. But, um... Uh, my one of my landowners that I lease a lot of hunt land from has been selling alligator tags to the swamp people for day one. And um, he said they had called and said, do you know this guy by the name of Ronnie Adams? And he's like, yeah, he's a good friend of mine to be exactly. And he's like, they were like, well, we're looking for new material. Uh, would he be interested in being a cast member? So Philip called me up and, um, Asked me at first, I was kind of thrown off because I was just kind of doing my own thing there <laughs> in the swamp, you know. Yeah. And uh, he asked me would I want to be on the show, and I was thinking just for like an episode, and I'm like, no way, you know. I, you know. <laughs> then he's like, he talked me into doing the interview. Uh, so uh, one, a producer had called me, said another producer was going to fly in from California the next day just to interview me, and. He told me the interview would be 20 to 30 minutes. So I showed up and he showed up at my house and we did an interview. I thought he was coming with a big camera and uh, he pulled out a phone and a little tripod and he started asking me questions for about two minutes. And then he started putting his camera and his tripod away. And I literally told him, man, I'm so sorry for, uh, (laughs) <laughs> wasting your time and he looked at me and he said you're kidding me right and he said his best california voice is bro you are the future oh and i'm like good. yeah two minutes i said yeah right and it from there it's just blew open it's blossom it's been a, a hit it's been unreal my life it changed my life forever I was going to say, I, I mean, did you ever have any aspirations being on a TV show or anything like this, or did it just really fell in your lap? Well, it just kind of really fell in my lap. But if you ask my mother, she'd say, yeah, I was destined from this from a kid. She's like, boy, you've been an actor all your life. Oh, that's awesome. Ronnie Adams on the line with me right now from Swamp People. Uh, season 15 going on right now, correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. That's on uh, the History Channel. Of course, you're going to be at the Iowa Deer Classic coming up this weekend at the Iowa Event Center. Now, your seminars at this that people can uh, go go to while they're there is called Swamp Hunting. What are we getting into when Ronnie Adams comes to Iowa? Well, I'm just going to talk about a, a pretty much a day in the life of Ronnie Adams in the swamps, you know, how we hunt. It's different than everywhere. Like, by me, if you don't have an airboat, you ain't getting a certain animals, you know. It's, yeah. Um, and and it's 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 just a total different aspect of hunting um it's just uh it, it's hard it's hard life you know it's, it's hard hunting and uh you you literally you earn your keep when you go do this type of hunting i gotta imagine water makes everything harder right absolutely but when the ground looks like good hard ground but if you step on it you'll you it go over your head in mud that's that's the catchy part. What's your animal of choice down there? Because I know Louisiana kind of has a lot to choose from, you know, whether it's, you know, a land animal, whether it's water animal, uh, crab, you know, seafood, everything in between. What What's Ronnie, like, your go-to? Well, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Alligators had made me who I am. Okay. But deer hunting, deer, I am a deer fanatic. I travel the country the entire month of November which I have an unbelievable wife that just lets me rock out. But I hit five to six states every November chasing a rut. And I am like a, I am, if it was like a drug, I am addicted to white-tailed deer. 
Have you ever been to Iowa for hunting? No, sir. But this year, I'm getting ready to start doing my preference points for Iowa. The One of the guys I talked to last year, and uh, forgive me, I, I don't remember who it was, but he was saying that Iowa was one of, like, the states to go to for deer hunting. Absolutely, my baby. Iowa is the prime jewel. Uh, Ronnie Adams on the line with me right now. We'll have more details over at the website. Hey, Ronnie, I got to ask, uh, uh, cooking's a big part of uh, what uh, what you're kind of about, right? Yes, sir. That's just our way of life. We like to eat. When <laughs> when people are trying to do Southern food, uh, Cajun food, what's the proper name for it, I should ask first? Uh, you mean like a, a Cajun cuisine? Yeah, like, you know, the gumbos, the red beans, and rice, you know, all that kind of stuff. Is it just right, Cajun? Um, etouffee, um, okay. sauce pecan. Uh, that, that's just a variety of stuff you can cook in different mixtures. It's just kind of got a little French t- a French Cajun touch to it. What What's the biggest mistake like someone from Iowa trying to repeat this would be? Is it just not enough spice? Oh, it could be not enough spice or burning a roux. Okay, burning the roux. A roux a roux takes a roux is with pretty much anybody down in South Louisiana. Everything they cook starts off with a roux. And that's just kind of like a little vegetable oil and some flour, and you darken it to your choice. But if you mess the roux up, the whole dish is ruined. And a roux takes a roux, a good roux takes an hour to an hour and a half to cook. Wow, really? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, Absolutely. my goodness. An hour and a half just for that part? Yeah. <laughs> and then you start, like, like, if you cook a good gumbo, a good gumbo is going to take you half of a six hours, five to six hours. To cook an absolutely amazing gumbo. Now you could get this pre uh, this pre cooked stuff you buy in a package, but it, it, it someone that can cook it just it's no match. It's, it's the hands down that don't even contend with it. Uh, Ronnie Adams uh, on the line with me from Swamp People. He's going to be at the Iowa Deer Classic. Ronnie, before I let you get going, uh, what else you got going on, man? What else is going on in Ronnie Adams' life? Well, right now we actually uh, we have an invasive species called the Nutra Rat. Uh, right now is the time that we're actually out day and night shooting these nutra rats where the state of Louisiana actually gives you $6 a tail. Really? Uh, it's a bounty on them. Yes, sir. So we try to kill anywhere from three to 500 a day to uh, get it rolling and keep the keep the bills paid, if you, you know, as I could say. I, Ronnie, I got to tell you, you're you're not using the right name. It should be Ronnie Adams, Bounty Hunter. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That, hey, that might kick off a good uh a good sequel, huh? <laughs> I think so. The Bounty Hunter, Ronnie Adams, and that's the show. That's, you just go around and you bounty hunt a- animals. That's right. <laughs> so we also doing the bounty hunt on the Nutras, and I'm getting ready to start with the crawfish traps because uh, the price of crawfish roof is just through the roof right now. Um, so if I could get me four or five sacks a day catching, shoot, I mean, a sack of crawfish right now down here because of the drought is going three to 400 a sack. Whoa. That's insane. It's like Louisiana gold. Wow. Well, Ronnie, I got to tell you, this has been fascinating. I wish you nothing but the best. Can't wait to see you when you come up to the Iowa Deer Classic. If you get a chance, explore Des Moines a little bit. I think you'll have some fun with it. Uh, if you can get outside of the city and find uh, some of the fun people, I, I, I you're going to have a good time, okay? I'm going to have a good time anyway. Guys, I'm at the Weeby booth at the Iowa Deer Classic 341 and 343. And uh, also, I'm going to be putting on seminars, so you got to come watch this Cooney talk. There you go. Ronnie, thank you so much, man. Safe travels when you come up, okay? All right. Bye-bye.